Okay, so it's been a while since I've made a video on this channel, but I wanted to talk about this mouse that I've recently got about a week ago. And the main reason that I got it was because I've been playing a lot of Genshin Impact. And I was like, well, this mouse can be good for MMOs and RPGs and stuff like that. So I was like, I, I think it'd be good to get. So I ended up getting the Razer Naga, the wireless version, because I have the Razer Dock since my main mouse currently is the Razer Viper. And before I start talking about this mouse, I kind of want to say something about the dock. Like, I don't know if it's just something that I want, but it would be nice if this dock could hold four of these. That way I wouldn't have to like change the this part, which is kind of a little a hassle, right? Like you have to take this part out of here, which is this, if you want to use this other mouse or vice versa. And then you have to put it in and keep switching them on and off. And I think it would be good if they upgraded the dock to hold at least three of these. I think it'd be a pretty neat feature. Even at least two, I'd be fine with two, right? I don't know how many like people actually use more than one mouse, but I use two, right? Like I want to, sometimes I want to play my FPS and I want to use the lighter mouse. And then other times I want to play some MMOs or RPGs and I want to use a mouse that has more buttons on the sides and the main reason like i said for the game that i was playing currently i also don't have any number of keys on my keyboard it's like a 40 percent keyboard so i don't have any numbers on top i could rebind stuff but it's kind of hard to sort of hold a button on my keyboard and then activate a number which is why i got this mouse in, in the first place as well so yeah, that's my only like gripe about this dock. But then again, it might be like a super niche thing that maybe only I want. I don't know. But maybe I'm pretty sure there's people out there that would wouldn't mind being able to fit two of these in one dock. That way, you can use two mouses at the same time. It's not like you want to use them at the same time, but it's like when you're done. Like if say you don't want to use the Razer Viper or you're not playing any FPS, you put it a charge on the dock and then you switch over to this one without having to worry about switching this but other than that that's like the only complaint that i have about the dock the thing the other thing that i do like about it is um i'm able it doesn't matter what you have in there and just make sure the one that you have is like the mouse that you want to use for this little like wireless connection but the thing that i like is even if i'm using this mouse i can still charge the other mouse so that way whenever this mouse dies or I'm playing like an FPS, I can just like switch it, make sure I take this little receiver out, switch for the other one, and then charge the other mouse as well. And then I can just straight away use the Razer Viper. So I like that you can actually charge it, right? But yeah, I'm gonna talk about this mouse now. So I do have this mouse, the wired version. I've had it for a year. And I, I talked about it, but I deleted the video a long time ago. And I think it was a really good mouse. I didn't have no issues with it. And I do not know where I left the mouse at. Like, I've lost it because I stopped using it. And at the time, I was testing a lot of mouses because I wanted, like, a main mouse for FPS. And then I started going the route of, like, lightweight mouse. And I kind of got used to lightweight mouses. So, mice and yeah i ended up putting it somewhere and i could never find it for some reason like i don't know where i left it but regardless i wanted to get a wireless version and when i seen that they had this i was like let me see if they have other colors and i would imagine that one day they're probably going to have other colors for this but i'm definitely not going to buy it because i'm not going to be able to afford that when i already have a perfectly working mouse but i really wanted like the white version or even the pink one would would have been nice instead of having like all black mouse mices how do you say mices or mouses so yeah but like i said that's this is the main reason that i got it just to play other games that are not fps it's a pretty heavy mouse but as a person who's come from heavy mouses when playing fps games i don't have a problem with the weight you know you, you kind of get used to it over time especially if you have big hands i personally i have really small hands i can still palm this pretty easily and it feels comfortable to me but i do have like small hands it has a little curve right here to rest your finger 
I, so I, I know some people play like this, like they put two fingers. I don't know how you do that because <laughs> as I have small hands and I cannot do that. But yeah, it has somewhere where you can rest your finger and then it has a grip on the side as well for your thumb, which I tend to not really lift up this mouse because when I'm using this mouse, I kind of play on a higher DPI and a higher sensitivity. So I don't have to really worry about picking it up pretty much. But the battery life for this has last i play about whenever i don't have work and whenever i'm not doing anything it has lasted me a little over seven to eight hours i would say before having to charge it and i don't know if um like sometimes i'm not gonna say that that's the exact number like i know that's the exact number that i use before like eight hours before i have to charge it but the thing is i'm always like switching mouse back and forward and sometimes i don't let it charge completely so on a full charge i don't know how long it would actually last but it says on the box more or less but sometimes i feel like they just kind of estimate the amount of time that it will last but the good thing about this mouse is if you're just playing like even if you're playing like an rpg or something and you don't really need that super fast response time i think the good thing about this is i'll zoom in right here just so you, you can see but the good thing about this is that it has Bluetooth as well. So right now the mouse is currently off, but it also has Bluetooth that you can enable if you want the mouse and the battery life to last longer whenever you're using it. So you don't really have to worry about that. But if you know you're playing like a game where you want like the response time to be way faster whenever you're using the mouse, then you obviously, you know, go to the wireless version to connect to the, rece the receiver. So you would go on, on this side. But yeah, I think that's a pretty cool feature as well. And here it says 20K DPI. It has these mouse feet. And personally for me, I'm not going to use this like to try hard on any FPS or esports games. And sorry for like the autofocus going crazy. But yeah, I'll try to make my setup a little better one day whenever I have the funds to get like a better lens and a better camera. But yeah, I'm currently just recording like this and get better lighting. So sorry if everything looks kind of weird and overexposed. Now, the thing that I love about this as well is you have a lot of buttons. You know, you can go left with the scroll wheel. You can go right. You have these two here that you can actually change to any anything you want in a software. I don't really use the software at all. I only used it once to connect the mouse and to rebind some of these right here to what I wanted them to be. But that's really all that I did. Now my favorite attachments are going to be this. And what I love about this mouse and what I love about the Naga series is, is they're interchangeable. So you have, you could get three of them. You get this one. And this has numbers one through 12 on them. See if I can zoom in and show you. I don't know if it's gonna show. Okay, it does little bit but there's there's that then you also have this one that has two buttons if you for some reason like actually like heavy mouse and you want to use use it for fps and you use it and just you just put it on it's easy it's like nothing basically so it, it's really easy to take on and off like it's kind of it's magnetic it has two magnets right here one right here and then one in the back so you just clamp them on and that's it. And yeah, but this attachment right here is my favorite one. This is the one that I'm always going to leave on. It only has six, six numbers, which is all I need. I don't see myself ever needing any more. And like I said, right now I'm currently playing a lot of Genshin Impact. So switching between characters and stuff like that is makes it a lot easier to like press all these buttons and as a person who has small hands i can reach all of them really well so i don't really have to worry about that too much i i was planning on using this one but i feel like i wouldn't be able to memorize all of these numbers like where they're hat and another thing is i cannot even reach these top three so i was like if i'm i can't even reach these top three i might as well just use this one and i don't know this one just feels better to my hand personally so 
yeah just try them out i mean you you get three of them so that's a good thing you can try them out and see which attachments you like better and it's not like you're stuck with one right so that's the good thing about this mouse is you know interchangeable you put whatever binds that you want i mean whatever attachment that you want and you use that right so if you don't mind heavy mouse and, and you play fps with a mouse like this i think this is one of their best mouses to be honest like if this was like lightweight maybe one day in the future right they'll make something that's like this it would be like the perfect mouse for me if it was at least 69 grams i don't know why they make a lot of mouses 69 grams nowadays but i think it'd be really amazing if they can figure out how to do that one day to where you can take parts out and put them in and still have the same amount of weight even like for instance say when you put this attachment it would be 69 or 50 even 80 would be kind of nice and then i would be okay with having like 95 and you know it goes up the more buttons that it has maybe one day in the future they'll do that but i can see that being like in an in-game type of mouse plus it all depends on your hand size and like the kind of shape that you like right like some people palm grip some people um fingertip and then other people claw my hands are pretty small so like unless the mouse is small there's no way that i can fingertip or really claw grip any mouse except the ultra light 2 which i have but i've gotten so used to wireless mouse that i don't use wire anymore it's just personal preference to me now i just love the freedom that i feel whenever i'm using a mouse like this so it has rgb i i wish it was a little bit more noticeable but i do like that the scroll wheel is rgb right and you can put it to any color you want because more mouses only have like the back or the logo to be rgb and I mean i don't see the point in that because you really don't see it whenever you have your hand here but you do see it here which is kind of nice i guess if you're looking down what i like about the glorious mouse is that they have it all around which glows nicely even if you put your palm over it you can see the glow all around which is well what i really like when it comes to like having colors like this led lace that you're able to pick but this is still pretty nice i like the scroll wheel it feels nice it's not like doesn't feel too tactile but it feels like kind of plasticky at this scroll wheel but you can feel every turn or every scroll when you go up and down and the clicks feel kind of like i wish i could give you a sound test but i don't have like a good like quality audio to be able to record this maybe one day i'll be able to do sound tests for all of you but yeah the clicks are kind of like mushy when you i don't know it's kind of hard to explain it feels it doesn't feel stiff it feels light but it's like not really clicky now these are clicky and i love the way these feel compared to the razor viper but yeah i really love the way this feels um the buttons these feel the best overall to me compared to like these other ones wait this one's right here these two i don't know what it is about these that i don't really like i love the size of them that's for sure i love when they do big big um buttons like this instead of like small ones like on the razor viper i really don't like the small ones for some reason although i get it it's probably for to keep the weight down and to not have like mispress but i, I really enjoy bigger buttons personally but everyone has different preferences so maybe other people like the smaller ones <laughs> so yeah overall i think this mouse is definitely worth it and it depends what your price range is, right? Because this mouse is pretty expensive without the dock, which is how I got it. When I bought the Razer Viper, I got it with the dock. With the dock. So yeah, I, I don't know. It's it's a pretty nice mouse. It's a pretty big mouse, heavy mouse. And yeah, this is kind of like more of my overall thoughts about it. And I really like a review, so I do apologize. But I'm going to get my hands on a couple of other stuff that I want to talk about, like the new Glorious mouse pads. And hopefully I can get the mouse, their new wireless mouse in so I can talk about that as well. Because I'm still wanting a lighter mouse than this Raper, this Razer Viper. <laughs> because this is a good, like, I love this mouse more than the G Pro Wireless. But I, I don't know, it's just my hand size for this. Like, a, as a person who has small hands... I just feel like it would be better to have a smaller mouse for me 
but I'm probably like in the minority when it comes to that. I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure a lot of people love small mouses, right? Even if they have bigger hands. But yeah, if they ever release a a smaller Razor Viper, that'd be nice. But I want to try out the Glorious Mouse. And uh, you didn't hear it from me, but supposedly they're going to have a Razor Mini. I don't know when, but there's been rumors. If you just check all over Reddit, I don't want to talk any more than that. I get banned for no reason, right? But that's pretty cool. I did like the shape of this, but I felt like from my hand, the hump was too too high in the middle. If it was a little bit more in the back, I think this mouse will be okay for me. Even though it's heavier than the Razer Viper. And you can definitely tell the like the weight difference, even if it isn't that much you can actually tell the difference between the two of them so yeah i have a lot of mouses i don't know why i have so many i'm still trying to find the best one i probably shouldn't be spending money on mice i've spent way too much but yeah my overall thoughts i think this is definitely worth checking out if you have the funds or if you're just looking for a new mouse to do everything i think this is the perfect all-in-one excluding the weight but if you're fine with having a heavy mouse like this to play any any fps games casually or whatever i think this is a perfect mouse but i would definitely recommend you try it out at a store if possible because you know nowadays it's pretty hard but or just order it from amazon and you can return it if it doesn't fit your hand size properly or if you don't like the way it feels but yeah i just like I think it's pretty it's a pretty good value for everything that you get i think the price is fair for this mouse i mean if you compare it to this one which i bought it for 150 i think when it was released this is 150 i think i'll look at the price in a minute and put it on the screen but this has more value personally than this one i mean the amount of things buttons that it has and you can change them compared to this is kind of like insane right but then again this is pretty light and you know this is for fps i'm not saying that this mouse isn't worth like 150 i think it's 120 now but still like i wish it was cheaper when i bought it so yeah overall i definitely recommend this mouse if you're in the market for a new one and if you play all types of games not just one type and if you're okay with the weight shape is going to be subjective like i cannot tell you this is a perfect shape like it feels really good for me but i can't say that for everybody so yeah, I would definitely try it out. Maybe order it from Amazon. That way you can see if you like it or not and maybe you can refund it. But overall, those are my thoughts. And yeah, there's the RGB if you want to take a better look at it. But it's nothing special, right? But it has a nice little glow. So anyways, um, hopefully you all enjoy that. Sorry for like the, the cheap quality video, but yeah. Hopefully everyone is having a lovely day and I'll talk to you next time. So yeah, bye.